Hi guys, good day. I'm Sarina French Pasibayan, a third year nursing student of the University of Makati. What I have here is a concept map of pyelonephritis, a renal disease. So here it goes. Pyelonephritis is an infection of the upper urinary tract. It may involve the ureters, renal pelvis, and the papillary tips of the collecting ducts. Unchecked, it can extend into the tubules of the nephron, creating a potential for renal failure. Commonly, pyelonephritis is caused by urinary retention or an ascending lower UTI. Retained urine provides a breeding ground for bacteria. In addition, the presence of catheters or fecal incontinence increases the potential for UTI. Acute pyelonephritis is described as a clinical syndrome presenting with bacteriuria accompanied by flank pain at the costo vertebral angle, fever and chills. Conversely, chronic pyelonephritis may have a deceptively quiet presentation of frequency, dysuria, and nocturia. There are varieties of diagnostic tests for detection of pyelonephritis. Urinalysis and urine culture may be sufficient in mild initial cases of pyelonephritis in an uncomplicated presentation. UTI is an infection involving the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. It is more common in females because of a shorter urethra and the proximity of the urethra to vagina and anus. Sexual intercourse and forward cleansing following defecation offer primary source of contamination. The epithelium of the kidneys, ureter and bladder is sterile in the healthy individual. An infection occurs when bacteria enters the urine and begin to grow. The infection usually starts at the opening of the urethra where the urine is ex excreted from the body and moves upward into the bladder where they can grow and cause an infection. If they reach the kidney, they can cause a kidney infection called pyelonephritis which can become a serious condition if not treated promptly. The symptoms that can be seen in UTI include lower abdominal pain, dysuria, and fever. Urinalysis is done to confirm UTI. Collection of urine is appropriate at any time of the day. The first void of the day provides the optimal specimen. Send it to the laboratory within one hour of the void. Interstitial cystitis is often confused with UTI as presenting symptoms are markedly similar. It is also manifested by dysuria and pain in the suprapubic region. Urinary retention develops when the duct that drains the bladder becomes blocked. Acute urinary retention may be caused by stones lodged in the urethra or urethral structures. It always presents with acute onset pain of intolerable severity. Urinary retention always requires medical attention for treatment, symptom relief, and detection of the underlying cause. Failure to treat condition can lead to UTI or damage to urinary tract and kidneys. So that's the end of my presentation and I want to thank you guys for watching.